That's the go sound. I am ready, Luke Skywalker. I'm not sure I'm ready. I am excited. I'm also nervous as shit. Because I'm a lefty, my throttle's not near my thumb, so I gotta do it with my mouth. Far out. Man. All right, I've made all the adjustments. Um, I spent a good probably 15 minutes really going through all those um, the rates. So I just upped all my rates and lowered my expo a little bit too, so I wasn't like having to go full stick. I was just like super cautious because everyone's like, you know, like you don't need the control services to move much. I'm like, well, okay. So I made them, you know, pretty small, and the result was I really had to like throw the sticks around to get the plane to do what I wanted it to do. So. Um, I was only flying for a minute and a half and <laughs> it was the scariest minute and a half I've had for a while but the plane sounds so sick, it sounds so cool um, I thought, oh look it's only a five blade fan oh, it's going to sound like a hairdryer with wings man if you've never flown one before flying with a five blade EDF it's going to knock your socks off anyway if you're just used to flying with you know, like a high wing trainer like the super easy with you know this is a three cell plane running a 10 what is it a 10 by 5 it's a propeller right it's cool does cool things looks cool in the sky it serves its purpose taught me how to fly really um at least gave me like you know flight hours up i had a lot of fun with the xk8 xk a 800 which i'll put a picture of here um great plane but um yeah, I, I mean, I was really early days on that, had flight stabilization, yada, yada, yada. Um, whereas the super easy with that prop gets you up there getting flight hours. So I definitely recommend, I mean, you cannot fly. You cannot fly one of these little 64 millimeter planes uh, without any flight experience. Also, having said that, I'm trying to think too, because she wants to go nose down a bit more. I'm going to move, um, I'm going to move that battery maybe a little bit just a little bit further back. I haven't done that. I just changed all my settings so I can, you know, muck around with the, um, you know, like have more control over the plane is what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, just wanted to go down and that's a good thing in a way, but just maybe down too much. So I'm gonna move the battery a little bit further back. Um, so I don't have to trim out the plane and when you land it, the trim looks like you got half, the elevator's halfway bloody up. So um, yeah, you don't wanna do that. You don't want to fly around having to keep it level with your elevators, you know, half cocked. So um, I think it just needs a little bit of battery backwards um, and then we should be good to go. So right, I'm going to go and do that now. All right, so here's my new battery location. Um, I kind of use that front part as, um, as my reference. So I really only moved it about three millimeters back maybe. So um, you can actually see there's like a little... Um, I've kind of lined up the battery looking at that. Lipish P15, round two. This is a little pocket rocket. Again, still a bit of a light, light breeze. Mr. Football man's over there still doing his thing. This doesn't that look amazing? It looks, it looks great in the hand too. Oh, got the old sweaty palms. Oh, I think the wind's changed direction. Which is good. Let me just double check. Yes, excellent. So that's uh, that's my wind direction now. I'm going to peg it down there and um, probably just bring it around to a few loops and see how she goes. So I've only been flying for a minute and a half. Um, I guess I'll bring it down after four-ish minutes and check the the battery. All right. So here's our launch mode. Um, God, just panic with this thing. It's wind changed direction again. Oh my gosh. It was coming from there, now it's coming from here. This is like swirling around. It's def now it's, yeah. And it's fairly, fairly consistent. Flying into a bit of a headwind with one of these things is probably a good thing anyway. All right, here we go.
Oh my god. Yeah, she's touchy. I think I need to increase my expo. Oh man. This is a different experience. <laughs> She's a pocket rocket. She keeps turning to the right there when I'm coming from my right to left because there's a bit of that. Remember that breeze I was talking, telling you about? Oh, far out. That's almost four minutes now, so. All right, it's four minutes and 10 seconds. And I don't even think I took that. I didn't, I was flying with it, with this thing on the whole time. For this launch, I forgot to turn the launch thing off. Man. Yep. Still on. <laughs> Still on. You can see the elevator's up a little, so. Alright, it flies alright with the, um, the launch mode on the whole time. And you really just need to minimise how many things you're thinking about when you go up. Alright, let's go and check this. Check the battery. So this is after 4 minutes and basically 10 seconds, 11 seconds, 4 minutes. Alright, so she is 51%, there you go, cool, alright, 4 minutes at 50%, I could probably do that for about 5 minutes, awesome, reset that, 4 minutes, diarise it, 4 minutes, it's 3.86, Wait.